Welcome to SHGVS Dental Academy. I am Dr. Neeraj Vidhavan. Today I am in company of two of our toppers from Maids New Delhi. Maid Dr. Ayush Sahai, she is ranked 72 overall and Dr. Vipul Garg, he is ranked 97 overall in the NEET MDS exam. They will make rank 1 and rank 2 when the Delhi state list is announced. So uh, congratulations to you guys for having cleared the exam with flying colors. Uh, let's hear from you Ayush what your journey has been like through the years. Hello everyone, myself Dr. Ayushi Sahai. I did my BDS from Morana Zad Institute of Dental Sciences. I completed my internship in 2020. Last year I was doing JRship in Meads. After completion of my JRship, I studied for NEET and this time I made, uh, this was my second attempt and this time I got rank 72, probably Delhi rank 1. So Ayushi, your journey has been a slightly different kind of a journey. You said that in between there were phases when you studied, in between there were phases when you left the studies and you focused in the studies in a concentrated way in the last six months only. So can you elaborate upon that kind of what you went through? In last six months I read my notes thoroughly. So once I read my notes then I started with MCQs and uh, sir so, so also provided us with mock series. I gave tests, uh, each, each and every one of tests I gave on Monday and that uh, on Tuesday I used to revise those tests again. So mainly I was focusing on MCQs. Okay, now we'll move to Vipul. Uh, Vipul also has been with us for around one and a half years now. And he joined us for the refresher series for the AIMS May. And, his, and since then he has con continued with us. Uh, we'll hear more from Vipul about his journey. Hello everyone, my name is Vipul Garg. I did my BDS graduation from the Molana Jar Institute of Dental Sciences. Uh, I joined the academy after my first NEET attempt which was after my internship. Um, my ranks then was not very good. Uh, I scored around 1800 in uh, AIMS and around 1400 in NEET. But uh, I thought I know the concepts but I won't be able to apply them. So Vipul you joined us last year when your NEET rank was around 1400 and AIMS rank was around 1800. तब से तुमने अपनी प्रिपरेशन में क्या इम्प्रूवमेंट्स किए थे जो आज यू आर अराउंड 97 रैंक इन नीट एंड योर एम्स रैंक वाज आल्सो 32 तो तब से अब तक तुमने प्रिपरेशन को कैसे किया इन द बिगनिंग आई यूज्ड टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल द मॉक टेस्ट आई यूज्ड टू गिव द टेस्ट एवरी सैटरडे एंड एनालाइज ऑन द ट्यूसडे इन द बिगनिंग इट विल आई विल फील लाइक आई एम स्पेंडिंग मोर टाइम ऑन द रॉन्ग क्वेश्चंस बट it will take you one to two days to analyze and read the topics which are important that will help you in the main exam. Um, that's how I used to do as much, uh, as much mock test as I can and uh, relying on the sir is very important. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the faculty. You have to take the online classes which is happening on uh, Sundays. I used to take all the online classes at live only. Uh, selected topics you can uh, watch in the weekend time. You can you, you have to prepare one subject at a go in the initial. At last I used to take two subjects, one medical or dental. As uh, uh, the problem I am facing, if I, uh, if I do the dental subjects, I think I forgetting the medical part. But then I used to do medical, I think I am forgetting dental. So I used to take one dental and one medical that Akshika ma'am told me uh, in one week. At last, um, I used to uh, prepare in a similar way and uh, at last I want to thank. Ayushi, now I'll come back to you. Your preparation has been very different. You have been in JR shape. You decided not to study. Then you came back to study. And in six months of good study, you have made it from more than 1,000 rank in NEET to less than 100 rank. So what challenges you have pay, uh, faced during your preparation? I told myself, no, I should study. I should study because it's the only option which I have to do. I should study because I have to clear mate, I have to clear need, and I have to get one good rank in my college only. I want mates only. So I continue. I continue to study. Uh, even I, if even I, even I was able to make it for three or four hours. I did. I studied for three or four hours. Then after my completion of JRship, I studied for long. Then I. And then I got this good much time. I started my JR ship. I was very tired after my clinical postings. In the last six months when you were getting the time, on an average, how many hours you must be putting? 
on an average 6 to 8 hours uh, during your bds time ayushi you have focused upon what kind of books the course books which are the standard international textbooks or the guides which come in the market which are the crisp and short versions for clearing your uh, semester exams so i have i have my uh, in all international books i have my in my room um, especially the image based questions uh, the nb always um, always give you questions for, uh, from the standard books so these books were very are really very helpful now vipul i'll come back to you according to you you were a very average student in your bds times and uh, obviously many must have doubted your capability whether you can do it or not now that you are the rank 2 so what your challenges have been and un logon ko kya kehna chahoge jo tumhare jaise rahe hain in bds time i was just an average student um, i scored around 60 61% in my bds graduate um, though i used to uh, refer standard books but i can't i cannot make it at that time um, but then i believe myself yes you can do it um, so, uh, then i p- uh, worked hard for it and spent Uh, spend around six to eight hours daily, and the consistency you put in that helps you to achieve your goals. Uh, if I can sit here, you can also sit here as like me. Uh, Vipul talking about self belief. मतलब self belief एक आता है कि भी आप बस सोच रहे हो कि मैं कर सकता हूँ. But you have to back it with your work also. ठीक है. You said you were putting six to eight hours per day. ठीक है तो हम एम सी क्यूज के ऊपर ज्यादा फोकस करते थे या बुक्स पे फोकस करते थे या फिर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड प्रिपरेशन क्वेश्चन से वापस जाके रेट्रोगेट प्रिपरेशन तुम्हें क्या लगता है तुम्हें किसने ज्यादा हेल्प किया सर इंटर्नशिप के टाइम पे मेरा ये रहता था कि मुझे नोट्स अच्छे से करने हैं कॉमन एम सी बुक करनी थी उसके अलावा मैंने कुछ नहीं किया था बट आफ्टर डैट आई रियलाइज कि आई डोंट एबल टू अप्लाई डेट नॉलेज इन द एम फॉर्मेट so i try to do mcqs uh, in the medical format and dental format i uh, did some different thing in medical i used to prepare it like uh, mcq based i used to study the topics which are asked in the mcq which i got wrong and in the dental i think i i used to study from the theory and uh, i also uh, analyze my wrong questions also So Ayushi uh, before we wind up Thanksgiving whom all would you like to thank for your success First of all I would like to thank God and then my parents especially mummy papa who supported me a lot and they always believe in me then I would like to thank sir and ma'am who were there in my in my journey and they uh, they helped me a lot and then they guided me a lot they told sir especially told me how to correct how to attempt questions and, and this skill only sir will teach you this is very important sir will tell how, uh, which question you should leave which, which question you should leave and which question you should attempt and how to uh, reach up to the answer if you don't know the correct answer you can even you can still mark the answer if you don't know the answer so this is very good skill which only sir can tell and so thank you sir thanks a lot thank you ma'am sir um, i want to share some incident that i have to uh, that i happened to me um i lost my grandfather he is very close to me um but the in the covid time the sudden loss is uh, very uh, disheartening for me um then i remember the uh, memory uh, the sir test said me you can not uh, brought the uh, back the person you uh, have lost but uh, you can do on your level that you can uh, may, uh, you can uh do make them proud uh i want to like to thank uh, uh, my grandfather and uh, my parents for believing in myself and uh, um, supporting me my uh, dear sir and ma'am for uh, helping me and my friends who might discuss questions and to share my feelings and my faculty thank you everyone uh, one last question uh, because the a neat mds exam was postponed from march to may we got additional time for revising uh, i still remember i did discussion of one paper each with you aishi and you also vipul uh, how do you think that helped you in fine streaming your preparation in the last couple of months uh, it was boon for me that exam was getting postponed because i i, I had in time so much uh, so i got time with this postponement 
so this was really boom for me and also in uh, last few months i discussed one paper sir with sir so sir told me uh, in which subject i'm getting weak so sir uh, sir asked me to read once uh, micro uh, microbiology and biochemistry again so i read i read those subjects and uh, i it was uh, seriously it was a uh, right thing because i was very really confused i had very really confusion in biochemistry and microbiology these subjects were volatile for me so uh, overall uh, sir's uh, sir's evaluation of my paper was very really, was very really good in starting my rank was not good um, there was a phase that i used to think that nothing will be happening to me i used to study but n no result no good result will be coming so at that point you have to um, think that you have to do it then also then o only you can do it uh, in the in the discussion taken by the sir uh, sir will tell you the points where you getting wrong and uh, uh, mainly the past repeats uh, so you should tell me if you are doing the past repeat wrong then there is no chance that you can uh, score good rank so for all the students i uh, i am mainly fo focusing you, if you do the past repeats you can uh, first of all you can uh, you uh, you can do the straight forward question that is asked in the exam second you can uh, you have to study the topics i used to study the topics which is asked in the uh, past pg uh, past neat papers and uh, uh, the two readings i have done first is the vertical and the horizontal reading in the vertical i used to do the options i study the options which are getting uh, which are asked in the neat pg uh, exam and in the horizontal i used to study the topic which was asked in the exam so you are prepared for both the type of questions that are in the uh, in the mindset of a examiner so uh, second thing while taking the um, while attempting the paper you can not uh, believe that i will uh, have the full knowledge and you can score full marks no there will you have to first of all you can hit the direct ones but there will be questions if you have to eliminate the options and get to the, the answer that is very important that only the sir will tell you and uh, uh, i would like to thank you sir for that so i would also like th thanking you guys for having joined us at yours making us proud thank you guys for joining us here at our academy thank you to all of you for listening to us q and j